This is Samsung's Galaxy Fold, the gadget that's both a phone and a tablet. For a cool $2,000, it's the first all-screen smartphone that closes up like a taco. Wait, how does the screen fold like a tortilla? Does it leave a crease? We didn't really know. Until now. Samsung dropped by recently to let me poke, prod, fold, and unfold the Fold for a few hours before it goes on sale April 26th. The Galaxy Fold is not a phone for most of us. Samsung is making that super clear with that price and limited quantities. But the Fold does give us a glimpse of a potential future for all smartphones. It's the first effort by a major tech company to break out of the rectangular glass slab. How does a folding phone work in practice? We've got time for 10 important questions. To start with, how exactly did they stick a tablet and a phone together? Unlike my prototype here, it didn't involve any duct tape. Samsung's version has two faces in some unusual shapes. On this thin front, filled about three quarters with screen, you make calls and look at tall and skinny versions of apps. It's a functional phone, but I can't imagine using it as much more than a lock screen. You open the fold up to expose a 7.3 inch tablet, about the size of an iPad mini. That's the screen I kept returning to. So what does the fold do that you can't do with a tablet or phone alone? There's this experience. Launch an app or alert on the front and open up to use it on the full screen. Also, in tablet form, this thing can run three apps simultaneously, but they're like two-inch apps. Beyond that, the Fold seems to be mostly about the convenience of having a small tablet in your pocket. Okay, but how big is it? About as thick as two smartphones stacked back to back. But they're like two-inch apps. It in a variety of jackets and even tunics. And it wasn't as bulky as I worried. Well, maybe you should avoid stuffing it in skinny jeans. My bigger concern is the weight. It's a third heavier even than a plus-sized regular phone. The two batteries that power the screens are likely the culprit. Instead of the first pocket-friendly tablet, the Fold feels more like the first fanny pack-friendly tablet. I hear those are back in style again, right? How does it feel to fold? When you close it, there's this satisfactory thunk. It's kind of like the original flip phone of the Motorola Razr. Ah, the memory. Opening the fold requires more tension, which is pretty much impossible to do with just one hand. Does it actually lay flat like a real tablet? Yes, this hinge on the back makes the phone lie at exactly 180 degrees. But when the phone closes up, the hinge leaves a slight interior gap, which could be a lint magnet. Does folding ruin the screen? Well, like my taco here, there is a crease which is unexpected to see in a screen. It's less noticeable when the screen is lit up, but will undoubtedly generate fanboy drama. I'm not super worried that repeat folding will break the screen. I opened and closed it a hundred times and couldn't spot any damage. Samsung says they've done this 200,000 times and haven't found a problem yet. Is it fragile? A bit more than most smartphones. The biggest concern is that you can't get the fold wet. Water messes with the hinge on the spine. As for the screens, the folding portion may be less likely to crack if you dropped it because it's made of plastic instead of glass. That could make it more likely to scratch, but no, I didn't take a sharp object to Samsung's prototype to find out. How do the cameras work? There are actually six of them. One for selfies on the front, three on the back, and two on the inside for even more selfies. The folding form makes some of the new camera modes possible, such as opening up to shoot with a wide tablet screen. Warning, you will look like a tourist if you do that. So does owning a fold make you look cool? TBD on that one. It'll make you cool if you think early adopters are cool, or if people who spend $2,000 on a phone are cool. And last, the biggest question of all, why? That's a thorny one. In an era where some people feel they need handles for their giant phones, we definitely need some new design ideas. But to me, the Fold ultimately feels more like a tablet than a phone. And who needs a $2,000 Android tablet with them all the time? Samsung was right years ago about the shift towards bigger phones. Remember when we used to call these phablets? Either the Fold is a sign that our phones have gone too far, or it's the beginning of an era where our mobile devices are so big they're just tablets.